So part of this whole like starting over like fresh on YouTube and making more videos and all that happy crappy, I wanted to let you guys know more about me and like <laughs> different aspects of my life. And like a big part of my life is music. Now, I mean I do sing in choirs but it's not like that, it's like I listen to a lot of music. I wanted to talk to you guys about some of my very favorite music. On my iPod, my very most listened to artist um, is actually Chromio. Don't turn the lights on. One of those artists that you do probably know, but you don't know them because they've been featured in a lot of things. My favorite song by them right now is the song called Hot Mess. I put my love in on the line for you later. Like, I listen to it so much. Like, my favorite song. It's just such a great dancing tune, and it's just. I really like that song. What I like about Chrome is they have this very 80s, like, aesthetic and, like, they have a very 80s sounding sound. You're gonna find out that I'm really, really a fan of 80s sounding music, not so much 80s music, even though I, if I listened to it more, I probably would be. When I listen to their music, I feel like this is like what I would be listening to if I was like riding down the street in Chicago in like 1985. I'm sure that's completely inaccurate, but that's just what is in my head, and what's in my head will never leave. Another one of my favorites right now is a guy named Alan Palomo who also has that 80s-ish feel to him. Um, I say him, but he's actually associated with a lot of other things. Like, right now I think it's Neon Indian. Um, used to be in Vega and um, Ghost Hustler. One of my very favorite songs that he has done is called Parking Lot Nights when he was in Ghost Hustler. Very 80s sounding also. He's not mainstream at all. Um, not at all. But I really like that. Um, another group that is very, very... I, don't, I hate the word underground because when you say underground that just makes me think that you're just a huge hipster and you hate everything that's mainstream. I don't. I actually hope that everything that I like becomes mainstream because it's just a shame what is on the radio right now, but whew, I digress. A group similar to that is called Miami Horror. Not a lot of people know them, but they are very, like, they're very, like, throwback. Them also to the 80s, one of my very favorite songs by them is called Don't Be On With Her. It has a very, very 80s sound. It's pretty much kind of a ripoff of When Ducks Cry, but I don't like that terminology. They're not confined to the 80s. They also have a song called Imagination, which if you look at my iPod is actually my number one most played. It's got like a 70s-ish feel like you're at like a roller skating rink in the 70s. I'm, I put these songs in very weird situations. The very first song that I heard by them, which is a really really good song, is called Make You Mine and I took notice of it um, because it sounds like Daft Punk a little bit, which is my next artist I'm going to talk about. Probably everyone does know Daft Punk, but not everyone's like a huge fan of them. Like I do, I love me some Daft Punk. It's another one of those artists where you've heard them and you just probably didn't know it was them. There are so many Daft Punk songs that I like that I really can't even name all of them. So, like my favorite album is Discovery. It's probably like one of my favorite albums of all time because I seriously can listen to it from beginning to end and not stop, which is very hard for me to do because normally on albums there's at least one song which is kind of like, uh, but no, Discovery is just from start to finish, it's just amazing. If you like Daft Punk, I'm sure you've already heard of it, but you should watch a movie called Interstellar 555, I think there's like four fives, maybe five fives, I don't know, but it's like, it's basically anime set to the Discovery album. And I don't, I'm not an anime fan, but it was an incredible film, if you want to call it. It's just a huge music video. Daft Punk really inspires a lot of other artists because they've been sampled a ton. Like, everyone knows about the Kanye West, Stronger, and that, but there's some other songs that some people aren't as aware of that I 
know of, and there's, I'm sure there's probably tons more that I didn't even know, but yeah, a lot of people sample Daft Punk because they're just that good. I just realized that a lot of what I've been saying right now is very like dancey, electronic-y stuff, and I guess that must be my favorite genre of music. In an effort to like have this be kind of like a current reflection on my favorite kind of music, I'm just gonna leave it at that because I have lots of music on my iPod, but a lot of it has been music that I really liked at a time, but it kind of just passed and I really don't listen to it anymore. So there's a lot of, I guess I could call it seasonal tracks, where I would listen to them you know, for a season and then just kind of let it go. I'm going to put a link to a lot of the stuff that I've been talking in the uh, thing down there. And uh, tell me if you like the music that I've talked about, if you've heard of it, um, if you haven't and you've taken a listen to it, tell me if you like it or not. You can also tell me some of your favorite music. Yeah, you can tell me your very favorite song right now down in the comments. Um, and I'm going to be making more videos, like I said, um, that are gonna be about me, so you know more about me. Um, but yeah, for right now, I'm going to say peace out.